Okay, cool. So we can start making um, some of the Ender IO alloys, which are pretty sweet. Um, and since I kind of have to give away my plan now, uh, we're going to use Ender IO some more for this. Uh, we're going to build a reservoir. Um, what the reservoir will let us do is um, you can put two buckets of water into the reservoir and it'll essentially create um, an infinite water source inside of the reservoir so it's not really just free in the nether which is why I'm pretty sure it won't just vanish uh, although it might be a bug but um, it seems like it should it would make sense for it to work uh, in this capacity it, it acts like it's just a water storage device um, so we could build this uh, it's in a two by two configuration so we'll have to do this recipe twice um, and then um, yeah we can get all the water we need from the reservoir so um, fused quartz is what we need the alloy smelter for so we just need to get some nether quartz and jump four of them into it simple enough um, I'm gonna go grab a stack because I think we'll need this for other things here there it is. Um, and there's just tons of nether quartz in the nether um, it's kind of in the name so I'm not too worried about that now while that's cooking up we'll go ahead and make some other things that are on the, the list make our cauldron we'll need two cauldrons because I need to make this recipe twice and we'll need a bunch of glass panes need six so that yeah this little there you go 16 glass panes alrighty now fused quartz I need four total that's almost done and then we can make our reservoir I thought it made I thought it made two for some reason. I must have been thinking of the reservoir. Um, go, come on, go, go, oh. go. Yay! Okay. And I'll go ahead and shift click that in because I'm lazy. Okay, now we've got our four reservoir blocks. Um, just to kind of show you how this works. Um, I'm pretty sure breaking it won't break it. When you put four of them down like so, they form a multi-block. You can kind of see through it. It's kind of neat. Uh, right now there's nothing inside of it, so I um, can't do anything with it. But once I get some... I'm actually kind of curious. What if I put honey in this thing? Is that going to work? Where's my honey? Here's my honey. Uh, eh? No. Okay, you can't put honey in it. Uh, it must need to be water. Put that back away. Okay, so you're probably wondering. Whoa, what the? That's interesting. Um, just trying to break the. Hope this doesn't. Oh. I. Uh, uh, don't want to lose the rest of them. Do I need a Yetta wrench? Oh, screw that. Okay, I'll just make it again. <laughs> Oh. Do I need a pickaxe, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay, I just need a pickaxe. I'm smart. That wasn't a waste of resources uh, whatsoever. Uh, moral of that story. Uh, use a pickaxe. Don't be a dummy. Use a pickaxe. I, uh, of course, now need more iron. Of course, are here now. Iron. Iron. Go figure. Out of iron completely. Now I've got some dusts. Okay, I'll just not. Dusts. Whoa. Hi there, lag. Uh, gonna do that. So I don't have to. Can I put these in the. Put them in the alloy smelter. Should I probably do that instead? Save our coal. Our precious coal. Uh, we've got plenty of that. Almost out anyway. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see how fast that is. That's not terribly fast. Although I think you can overclock this to um, make it produce stuff even faster. Now I need fourteen. Well, does it do three at a time? That's cool. Uh, that's significantly faster than I was expecting. I guess we could use another smelter too, but 
it's such a pain um, to do, use it for or, ge generic ore processing. You have to like hit your punch the faucet for forever. You could automate that stuff to an extent. Um, just always tricky making sure you have the right amount in there so you don't end up with extra leftover and, and things like that. So, pull the reservoir recipe again. I'll need more of the glass panes. This is done. So, glass panes. That. I need two, or just one cauldron now. And I've got plenty of fused glass. Okay, there we go. Got our four reservoir blocks that we need. I'm going to go ahead and put them away before I accidentally destroy them again. Um, the next thing that we'll need to set up um, is some way to produce water. Um, I'm not going to be able to run outside and actually grab a bucket of water from an ocean or anything like that. So we kind of have to be a little bit cheesy uh, in how we're producing water. Um, now, over here, I've got our aqueous accumulator that I tried building before, but it didn't work here because we're in a hell biome. Uh, which is your standard nether biome. Biomes of plenty, uh, I think, still screws with the aqueous accumulator so that it will produce uh, water in the other nether biomes, the biomes of plenty biomes. Um, so if I were to travel far, far away, put this down, um, and then uh, you know maybe put the I don't know if I'll put the reservoir next to it, uh, or or some way transfer it into buckets. Um, then I'll be able to come back here and create an infinite water source, hypothetically. Um, so, one thing I'll need is I'll need two buckets, because it takes two buckets of water to make an infinite water source. Um, drop some stuff off before I go outside and lose it all, because I'm sure I will die. I always die. Uh, let's knock it away. And there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Uh, put some stone away. Split away. Oops. In bar. Okay, so. Alright, there we go. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna use the. Can you just put a bucket in here? Okay, no, I didn't think so. Alright, so we'll need to hook something up to the aqueous accumulator, and I think we'll just use the reservoir for it. We should be able to pump out into it. So if we just go far enough away, plunk down the aqueous accumulator, thankfully it doesn't require any power, um, put the reservoir behind it, then uh, it should start producing water for us. And hopefully it won't take too long. So I'm going to start the trek uh, once I eat some food and grab some more mushrooms for my stew. Oh, there's the rest of my bowls. Uh, da, da, mushroom stew. Uh. So, uh. All right. Um, I'll be back once I find a uh, a uh, biome to plenty biome to set up shop in. Be back soon. Uh, this is the same exact direction that we uh, we explored before to uh, get the. Uh, the honey. Ah, I heard you. I got off. So, this is should be relatively familiar territory, although this is a slightly different path than I've taken before. Now, I think I see a strange tree up there, which is a good sign. Uh, it should mean that we're about to get into a, a biome that we need. Plenty of fire. That's always fun. Um, yeah. So we've been here before. That's for sure. Now this should. This should be. Are you a? Is this actually a hell biome still? I thought for sure this would have been something else. Really? Crap. All right. Go a little bit further. Uh, let's figure out how. Uh, oh. 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 Really? Hell. Oh, Undergarden. There we go. Okay. Bunch of spiders. Take you guys out. 
Oh gosh, you're gonna jump on my face. No jumping on my face. Ow, ow. Okay, still in a... Okay, so we're in an undergarden biome. Oh, and there's our friendly bees, so we don't want to go that way much more. Um, what I'm going to do is build a little hovel here, hovel or, or whatever, uh, so we can get out of the open. The aqueous accumulator is not going to work fast, unfortunately. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to work very, very slowly. Uh, <clears throat> basically, trying to pull water out of thin air. Go figure. So. Uh, put our increase accumulator down here, and yep, there you go. One millibucket, I don't know, a tick, tick or second or whatever. So we're just going to let that fill up. Um, all the sides are set to output by default. And then uh, what we can do over here, well that was quick. Actually, I actually didn't realize it would do that. Can I just pull it out of there once there's enough? can't tell at all how much that is, but let's do this. Um, all right, so we just kind of sit here and wait for this to fill up. Um, I guess I'll see you guys when this is done in like 20 years. Yeah. All right, guys, well, we're back after waiting an incredibly long amount of time for this to uh, process and, and slowly fill up with water. Aqueous accumulator is still chugging along um, and our reservoir is completely full of water. Uh, it's kind of neat. Um, once I guess two buckets worth of water was in here, uh, this went ahead and filled up all the way because it basically created an infinite water source. So now if I just right click here with bucket, see it filled back up again. Do that again. We got two buckets of water in the nether. No problemo. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this back with me because we're going to put the reservoir uh, back home. So, what will happen if... Okay, it's empty. So, don't need that anymore. And, let's see, grab my wrench because I can and grab that. And there we go. Now we're good to head on back. Ow. 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 That was fun. Thank you for welcoming me out of my hiding side spot there. Exactly why. Oh, oh. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, I don't feel like fighting him. So I'm going to run for it. Go back down the way we came. Alright. Time to head home. To safety and not crazy mobs. With our buckets of water. Hooray! Uh, is, there a, is there a way up here? I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost. Uh, Alright, dig my way up. There we go. There we, there we go. Okay. Turn this way. Hello, Magma Cube. Goodbye, Magma Cube. We got some spiders, jumping spiders. Trying to jump on my face. He almost did. Back off. Ooh, got him. Still looking good. I'm tempted to kill some imps, but I'm kind of scared at the same time. So I'm going to leave them alone just in case. I don't know if uh, they're like pigmen. They'll all get hostile or something. I know they drop their hides, or their skin rather, uh, which you could make into armor. Not that we really need better armor. Great. We got a belf in the way. He's gonna try and shoot me with his crazy things. Oh, there's a couple of them. There we go. Okay. Uh, ooh, I'm almost out of food. I definitely need to get back soon before I uh, can't regenerate my health anymore. So, one of the tricks I found to fighting belfs is that um, even though they fire, gosh darn it, back off. Um, the projectile that they fire at you does travel very, very quickly. Um, it, oh my god, I'm about to die. Um, it only goes in a straight line, like most, or, or all projectiles really do. So 
if you simply uh, kind of strafe to the side while charging at them, uh, they really won't be able to hit you with it. So, just a little trick in case you find yourself fighting a belt for some reason. You never know when that might happen. Um, especially if you're doing another challenge. Alright, I got some of these guys coming at me. Wow, two for one. Oh god, there's another one. Maybe not two for one. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, oh, that's a, oh, there's two he scar spiders. Come on, we're so close to home. There's another one. Fall damage is not helping my case here. See, he's still falling. Really hate those guys. Really hate those guys. Uh, let's see. Go around here. Oh, there's a ghast. Hi, oh, guess. What's up? Ooh, ooh. I see my pillar. My home. We're almost there. With our sweet, precious booty. Come on. Just a little bit more. Alright. Head back up. There'll probably be a mob spawned in here because I still haven't fixed the floor. But we made it back on one and a half hearts. About two buckets of lava is a. Uh, or buckets of water, rather. Pfft, lava's easy to come by now. Um, yeah, that's a mission accomplished, if I've ever seen one. Let's go ahead and make some uh, celebratory mushroom stew. Because there's no better way to party hard in the nether than to have some mushroom stew. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. There we go. Cool. So let's get this set up so that we can have our water supply. Uh, I want it to be kind of out of the way. In fact, actually, let's put it downstairs. Uh, we can pipe up as needed. Um, we shouldn't need it for too much, but yeah. So let's take this out. In fact, uh, got a couple more blocks. Sweet, all right, reservoir goes here, multi-block and pump bunk. All right, uh, we did it. Uh, we have created water in the nether. Um, I can't believe it was possible. This is still not working, um, but that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Um, yay. So I think that'll about wrap it up for today. Uh, we got a crap ton done, including uh, setting up the power supply and in the, in the, connecting it up to the uh, portable lava tanks and the, our lava supply, although it's broken, but I'll deal with that later. Um, created some conduits so that we could uh, power our machines up there. I might uh, upgrade these cables at some point to the Ender IO ones. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, now that we have the alloy smelter, which we also built, excuse me, ugh, uh, we can do a bunch more Ender IO stuff. Uh, and I'm lagging for no reason. Um, I think we can take this off the wall then. Uh, next episode, we'll probably set to upgrading the cobble generator, which was, was one of the reasons why we got the water. So, yeah. Uh, this has been Duran Nighthawk. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you have any ideas, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you think. There we go. Uh, yeah. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.